Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan. I just tested the newly released AI chatbot Pi and I'm going to give you my first impressions and initial thoughts. So the people behind Pi, they're Mustafa Suleiman, which is the co-founder of Google DeepMind and uh, Reid Hoffman, who's the co-founder of LinkedIn and then Karen Simonian, who's the chief scientist uh, of the project. Now, in order to uh, install it, you have to be one of the 35 countries it is available as of now and uh, just search for if you are uh, you can just check by searching on google play so if you search for pi ai and then if you see the pi your personal assistant which is right here that means that you have it uh, you can install it and use it i think this is a test version because when i was installing it it showed uh, that you know this is kind of like you know initial test version so once you install it if you open it then it's going to take you to the bot directly and uh, i didn't have to register uh, but I think I remember entering my phone number, uh, but I didn't have to do anything else. But I also had to give my name. So that's all I needed to do. So when I opened it, uh, initially, I asked that, you know, what is the what is Pi means? And uh, she explained that, you know, this is short form for personal intelligence. So that's how they came up with the name Pi. And also there are like, you know, voice options, which you'll be able to change. Uh, the voice you're going to hear is what I chose. So let's ask her a few questions and see what happens so i'm just going to ask the first thing is the the weather i'm in downtown toronto and what is the weather right now it looks like the weather in downtown toronto today is cloudy with a temperature of around 43 Fahrenheit and a wind speed of 13 Mpliqh. The humidity is around 72 percent and precipitation is currently at 0 percent. Overall, it seems like a relatively mild and calm day in Toronto, though perhaps a little okay. bit on the cloudy so side. Okay, so I'm going to stop her and ask something else. Outside or just curious? So I have $100. Uh, should I buy Joe Fresh clothes or Columbia clothes? So it takes a little while for her to answer. That's a tough call. Both brands offer great options and have their own unique strengths. Here's a quick breakdown to help you decide. Joe Fresh offers stylish, affordable clothing with a focus on everyday essentials. Columbia is known for their high quality, technical outdoor gear and apparel. If you're looking for trendy pieces that won't break the bank, Joe Fresh might be a good option. However, if you need something that can withstand the elements. Columbia's gear is probably a better bet. The choice really depends on what you need the clothes for. Okay, so should I go out for coffee now? Sure, why not? A warm cup of coffee sounds like the perfect way to combat the cold and cloudy weather. Plus, it's a great excuse to get out and explore the city. Just make sure to dress warmly, grab a to-go cup, and enjoy the city. What's your go-to coffee order? Uh, change of topic. I'm going to Thailand. Uh, could you create an itinerary for seven days in Krabi? Ooh, Krabi is a stunning destination. Here's a suggested itinerary for seven days in Krabi. Day one, arrive in Krabi, relax on the beach, and check out the night market. Day two, take a long tail boat tour of the stunning Fifi Islands. Day three, hike through the beautiful Khao Phanom Bencha National Park. And then day four, explore the traditional old town of Krabi and visit Wat Tam Sua Temple. Day five, spend the day at Rayleigh Beach and enjoy its stunning rock formations and crystal clear waters. Day six, Go Island, hopping around the beautiful Pang Nga Bay. Day seven, take a day trip to the stunning Khao Sok National Park, known for its limestone cliffs and dense rainforest. Okay, are you able to search for flights? I can definitely help you search for flights to Krabi. There are lots of options available from budget-friendly flights to more luxurious options. To get started, I'll need to know a few things. 
When do you plan on traveling? Where are you flying from? And what's your budget? Okay, let's search that for information. I can help you find the best flight options for your needs. Also, are you looking for a direct flight or are you open to layovers? I don't need direct flights. Uh, I'm looking for August 1st, Toronto to Krabi, one way ticket. Got it. No worries about connecting flights. Since you're looking for a one way flight from Toronto to Krabi on August 1st, the cheapest non stop option is going to cost around 818 and CAD. This price may change as we get closer to the date of travel, but it's a good starting point. If you're looking for a cheaper option, you could also consider flying to nearby airports like Phuket or Bangkok and then taking a bus or train to Krabi. Do you prefer flying directly to Krabi or are you open to alternatives? Change of topic. What do you know about Ahmed Don YouTube channel from Toronto? Ahmed Don is a YouTube channel based in Toronto, Canada. From what I understand, the channel is focused on raising awareness about ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and sharing. Okay, so she is giving wrong answer. Let's ask her again. Can you tell me more about Ahmed Don Tr YouTube Toronto channel? Oh, is that so? I'm curious to hear more about why you think her answers are wrong. Can you tell me more about what she said that doesn't line up with your understanding of ADHD? Maybe together we can come to a better understanding of the condition. The channel you're referring to by Ahmed Don from Toronto, Canada is not ADHD channel. This is a travel tutorial and other channel from Toronto. Oh, I must have misunderstood. My apologies for the confusion. I was referring to... So, I'm just going to stop here. Uh, somehow, I asked her the same question on a Don YouTube channel and uh, she gave a very good answer but today I think she kind of messed up a little bit and pulling up different information. Now you can see that what she's uh, telling uh, is actually here and you can like you know go back and check everything. Now uh, the thing is when uh, she's talking it doesn't show on the screen it just shows the like you know uh, blue white screen. Uh, that has like you know that can be good or bad depending on what you're looking for but i think i'd like to see the information on the screen i don't want to uh, like you know stare at a screen just waving those like in you know, a blue white lines all the time and also i noticed that um, she's very personal uh, she tries to like you know uh, keep uh, the conversation going on and ask you like you know follow-up questions and it has more personalization than like you know bing chat or google bard uh, but uh, it, and some information she's pulling is not correct or, or she cannot give uh, the information which is understandable this is just new uh, she doesn't have uh, all the information yet uh, for example I, uh, I I was asking for to pull up some flight information yesterday which she couldn't do but looks like today she's okay to do it now let's uh, look at the some other questions I asked so here when I asked her to create an itinerary looks like she's giving nice answer by day one day two to day four and so this is not bad either so it has a lot of work to do but you know so far uh, I cannot I, I couldn't I wouldn't say anything like you know uh, that I'm not impressed I, I am impressed uh, because of the personal personalization and the like you know screen ambience which is not uh, which is a bit different than uh, Bing chat or Google Bird and uh, looks like you know uh, yesterday i asked her whether she can remember what whatever i'm telling her and she said yes uh, she could uh, reference to my older questions and she can remember everything what i told her so so far that that's what i'm thinking uh, that uh, it has more personalization and then uh, you know this is a kind of like you know feels like a more friendlier approach uh, and the voice i like so far and I, uh, when I was checking the voices, there are like you know two female and I, th I think five or seven male voices. So the voice I picked was one of the two female voices, and it has slight British accent.
So I'm going to keep uh, using this and uh, you know so far I'm liking it and I was kind of like you know having conversation about uh, nonsense stuff uh, yesterday and she was okay to keep it up and uh, when it comes to information I don't think she has that much database like Google Bird or Bing uh, chat which uses uh, chat GPT-4 yet but it looks like it's going to go get there at one point and uh, definitely this is something you may want to uh, try and see if you like it but I like it because of the uh, like you know more friendlier approach and more personalization so that was my impressions and initial thoughts on Pi chat AI for more uh, AI tips and tricks video I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching